Hello, in this video we are going to look at how to take basic inputs from a user in Python 3. So I've already made a file called taking inputs and let's just start off by making a variable called name and I can take an input very simply by using the input function. And let's just run it like this for now. So what this is, is this is an assignment statement with the input function on the right side. So the input function calls a program that waits for the user to type something in the console and continues once they hit enter. So in this case, what's going to happen is if I run this, the program's going to stop here and it's not going to continue until the user types in something and presses enter. Now to help illustrate this, I'm going to add a print and program at the bottom here. So now if I run this, notice the program's sitting there and it's still active and I know it's active because I can see the stop option here, but it hasn't printed out end program. That's because it's sitting there waiting for me to type in an input. So if I put my name as Paul and I press enter, there we go. What's happened is this, once I type in a word and press enter, it takes the value and stores it in the name. Now that's not very useful because the user of the program doesn't know that the program's waiting for an input. So it turns out the input function can be passed a parameter and that is the text that it wants the user to be prompted with. So maybe this, please input your name. So now if I run this, I get please input your name, and I type in my name, and I press enter, and that's the end of the program. So what that does is it copies the, the value that I put in here into the name. So if I do print something like, hello, name, Welcome to our game. And I run this. Please input your name, Paul. Hello, Paul, welcome to our game. And then you can go on from there. Now, something that's really important to recognize here is that if I do type this and I put in a number, let's say, and I hit enter, it's going to interpret that number as a string. This is a very important point that I want you to take away from this video. Input, input function always returns a string. So the thing is, is even if you type a number in there, it's going to interpret it as a string. So let's imagine that, that I did something like this. Number equals input input your favorite number okay and then maybe I'm gonna say number equals number times 10 print your favorite number times 10 is number whatever if I run this now, please input your name, Paul, please input your favorite number, 99, and I get that. Hmm. So this is an error that's happening because what Python has assumed that number is a string. Therefore, it is not performing multiplication. And in fact, if I made this addition, watch what happens. I get an error because what's happened is the same. Wait a second. This is a string and you're trying to add 10 to it. We have a problem. And in our next video, we'll talk about how to solve that problem. I hope this helped, and as always, please feel free to ask any questions.